Hey everybody, it's Sam here from 3D Printing Canada and today I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk to you about Benchy. We've all printed them probably hundreds of times, we certainly did around here. He comes pre-installed on most printers that you get today. Sometimes they call him Benchy, sometimes they call him the boat. More often than not though, this is your first ever print. A lot of people don't know though why it is that we print Benchy. Um, we do Benchy not because we all just like boats and want to have a million of them laying around on a table. He's actually a calibration tool. He was designed specifically for us to be able to print him out and measure all of the different aspects. He's going to be able to tell you if anything's going wrong with your printer. So if you want to make sure that you're printing something within specifications, if you want to maybe test your retraction settings, see if your filament's wet, anything like that, Benchy is the tool for the job. I've done a bigger one so that we can show you some of the finer details and I'll go over some of the measurements that you should be able to get with your Benchy. So first and foremost, this is our big guy. He's going to show you how we can test actual circles. Are these circles coming out round? If they're not, your belts might be a little bit off. Are you able to get a nice clean window across the front here? If you can't, it's time to check your part cooling because you're not getting good bridging. All of these little arches throughout here, those are the same idea. If you're starting to get droops and drops and drags, that means that it's time to start fine tuning all of the settings. If you flip him over, he does have letters on the bottom. If I flip him over the right way, then you can actually see what they are. So you should be able to read this. You should be able to read it clearly. If you can't, that means that your nozzle's set too close to your build plate. He also, has a little license plate on the back of him. We need to be able to read that part as well. This stack should be nice and straight, shouldn't have any globs or blobs. That can indicate some part cooling and retraction setting problems as well. This is your best calibration model. If you want good prints, get a good Benchy. If you're going for precision, then it's time to bust out the actual measurements from the people who designed him. They tell you what he's supposed to be. As long as you don't scale it in the slicing software, you should be able to measure this. If you want to, you can use a ruler and you can try and get all of those fine little itty bitty measurements across the top and across the bow. Best tool for the job is a set of calipers. If you're not familiar with them, I suggest everybody have a set. It's really easy. You just pull open the bar, slide your part into it like this, and slowly close it up until you get to your actual measurement for what it is that you're trying to measure. You're gonna to wanna to go through all of the different measurements. They include everything from the inner diameter of the smokestack, outer diameter, roof, from the base to different heights on it. If you can calibrate your Benchy, you can get amazing prints too. So we've collected all of the Benchies that we had in the building to make this wonderful table full of Benchies. Not only does everybody love to print them all the time, they also love to remix him. So you can find a bunch of different fun Benchies. This is the Megalodon, he's super fun. My kids love to play with him. I had to fight it away from him this morning. Uh, they've done this twisted weirdo Benchy. He really is supposed to look this way, but sometimes you end up with a Benchy that looks similar to that even though it's not what you were trying for. Uh, these ones, it's really obvious to tell there's something going on with the hardware or with the filament. It's all about getting to know your printer and getting to know your materials to know exactly where this happened. This one, I was printing on a Bowden style printer. The filament was wet, it snapped within the tube and the print couldn't actually finish. This particular one, I was trying out a new infill pattern and it just, it couldn't do it. It didn't have enough strength to be able to build the angles that we're looking for and keep everything together. So I ended up with a layer shift and had to stop it part way through. Sometimes we end up with the stringy blobby mess happening in doorways and in windows. And that's where we need to start looking at the finer settings. We need to look at our temperature settings, our retraction settings, our part cooling settings, and just the overall way that we're asking the printer to deposit the material. Did I forget that this was a Bowden style printer and use direct drive settings? Did I forget to check that my part cooling fan was working? These are all things that you should check when you see this type of webbing start to happen on stuff like this. After that, it just comes down to making sure that your Benchy is being printed within spec. You need to make sure all of his measurements match what they're supposed to. You grab your calipers, 
you grab your calibration sheet and you just get to measuring. I recommend keeping a few of these around. I have a laminated copy so that I can write on it when I... So yeah, once you've gotten your head wrapped around what Benchy can do for you, and now that you understand why it is that we all seem to love boats so much, hopefully you can get some awesome prints as well. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully you guys like this. We're gonna have a lot more tips and tricks coming out in the next couple of weeks.